Hi, everybody. It is Kathy, and I love to be selling. I have got, I got to get my fingers right, three. I don't think I do have it right. Here we go. Three. <laughs> One, two, three. I should probably do it this way. Three, three, three free eBay search tools that work. <laughs> That's a big thing with eBay search. It's great to hear things and read things and listen to things, but I've got three eBay search tools that work. And I will bet you anything that at least one of them, you've never thought of this way. So I am going to be sharing that with you. I will deliver all this great information. It'll probably take about 10 or 15 minutes. So in a matter of literally 15 minutes, you're going to have three killer eBay search tools that work to help you with eBay search. And you go, well, why is eBay search so important? You know, why are you talking about eBay search? Why is a seller should I be concerned about eBay search? I'm thinking about I need to list, I need to source, and that is absolutely true. You do need to list, you do need to source, and you absolutely want to be thinking about good things to source, to sell on eBay. But the thing about listing and selling on eBay is that you can have the greatest item and i'm going to grab something my blue pen i can have the greatest blue pen and i can work really hard sourcing my blue pen but if i don't list this in a way hey david how are you if i don't list this in a way that ebay search will find it and also that it will rank well in ebay search i am going to have a hard time getting this blue pen sold okay the better typically that I can do an eBay search, the better price I'm going to get for my item. And also I will sell my item faster. I worked over 25 years in brick and mortar retail on eBay, on eBay in New York City. And I also did six years of online selling for QVC. Excuse me, on QVC. <clears throat> I didn't work for QVC. I worked for products that were presented on QVC. And one thing you learn from doing retail they really look at numbers, which is how quickly something sells, the amount of money that they're getting from the item. But the big thing is how quickly it sells. So the retailers, QVC, they're definitely interested in getting great products, but they're also really looking at how quickly it sells. For eBay, what's really key for getting your item sold, and that's what we all want, right? I mean, it's great to list. We love listing. We love social media. But the reason we're doing it is to get the item sold years ago and i've been selling on ebay for well over 12 years truly you could probably take pictures of just about anything and sell it on ebay okay and that's really changed the reason it's changed is years ago under devon one egg ebay really started to look at including structured data which was data they could then feed to google which would help ebay items index well in search on google google is the number one search engine it's how a lot of traffic comes to ebay um, and in fact in the earnings report that ebay just did for fourth quarter for 2020 jamie ionone the cea ceo spoke of that ebay has improved in google search so ebay is very interested in google search and us as sellers we are very interested in google search and if tips about ebay search help you if this is something you're interested in, say, heck yes, let me know that because then I'll be doing more videos and more information for you on eBay search. And if you're listening to this on replay anywhere that it's posted, just hashtag replay so I know that you're watching it on replay. That helps me. So search is crucial. Search on eBay, search on Google. It helps your items to get found. It helps them to get sold. And I've got three super ways to help you do better in eBay search. So starting with Devin Winning, you had a big influx of information about structured data, eBay pushing structured data, including it much more in the listing process because it helps eBay search. Thanks, David. And it helps Google, okay? So then the question is, well, how do I structure my listing so that it takes advantage of the structured data so that I do well in eBay search and I do well in Google? 
This is why item specifics have become more and more important on eBay within the past couple of years. And as you've noticed, when you're listing more and more there, and sometimes they seem sort of silly, like I'll go to list a clothing item and often I'm asked for the character family for a cocktail party dress. So just know eBay's increasing the item specifics. It's about getting the structured data to eBay search and to Google. As a seller, particularly when I know my item, so I'm gonna use my eBay black t-shirt. I really know this, I'm so used to it. I've, I've listed eBay t-shirts before, it's an eBay t-shirt, it says eBay, it's black, I put the size, I put the brand, but perhaps I'm missing something. And this is what can happen when you see your listings been up and you're getting a lot of impressions, which means it's being shown, but you don't see a lot of clicks and you're not getting that sale. Another scenario can be you're getting a lot of watchers, but you're not getting, like you're sending out offers because you're using seller initiated offer and you're sending offers to your buyers and nobody's biting. So it's like, okay, what can I do? Is there something that I'm missing in my listing? And you'll go through and you'll look and you'll check. And sometimes it's because I am so familiar with the item, or maybe it's because I'm not that familiar with the item and I'm making my best guess on the item that I'm missing a specific keyword that could really help to get my item to the right people. Because realize it's the structured data, it's the item specifics, it's the keyword, and keyword is another name for item specifics. It's the keywords are what is part of the data that eBay is feeding within eBay search and also to Google search. So if I'm missing something that would really be juicy and really be good and could help my item show up better in search, I want it. And this is typically the kind of work that I do with clients. I'll be looking at their listings and I'll be looking to see if there's a couple of words that they're missing that can really help their items index better. And this is what I did and this is fun. So these are my three tips for you to help you with eBay search, three tools. The first one, and I'm going to show you how I found this, is if you're not aware of this, um, Amazon has a lot of tools. And I know oftentimes as eBay sellers, we're like, oh, you know, Amazon, I don't sell on Amazon. But they have a lot of good keyword tools. And keywords on Amazon can be similar to the keywords on eBay. So it can be worth it. This is a more advanced selling thing, but I want to share this with you for eBay search. It can be worth it to look at what are the keywords being used on Amazon? Because if you're not aware of this, there's a lot of people that sell on Amazon and eBay, Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. So it's worth it to take a look at what keywords are being suggested for this type of item or the specific item. And all I did to find this tool, and it's free, I'm gonna show you three free ways to do better in eBay search. That's what you're gonna learn. So what I did was I went on the internet and I Googled free Amazon keyword tool. Because remember keyword is the specific words related to my item that are being fed to search. A good keywords can help my item rank better in eBay search and on Google, okay? And this is one I came up with, Celix, S-E-L-L-I-C-S. -L -L and they have a free tool they have paid tools too, but they have a free tool, Sonar. And I tried this. I, I do not know this company. I don't know anybody for this company. But I'm saying is, I'm suggesting this to you. You check it out, see what you think. So let's say I'm looking for, I'm just going to take a look at what they do for, oh, good. So mainly they show women's tops, swimsuits. Let's do tops. And then I'm going to scroll down. And what I'm looking for is keywords that I may not be aware of or keywords I'm not thinking of using that buyers use. Remember, that's what I'm interested. What is a buyer using to find the item? What's a good keyword? And so what I'm seeing is women's tops and blouses, women's summer tops. So in the title or in the description, if it's a seasonal item, if it's a sleeveless item, I might want to say it's a woman's summer top, workout top. So if it's athletic wear, if it's leisure wear, I may want to talk about workout. Tank, tankini, I can't even pronounce it. 
tankini tops, which are a very specific style. And if you don't know what it is, you Google it. You go, what on earth is a tankini top? Look, because your top might be that. So take a look at that. Maybe it's a style I don't know of. Off the shoulder top. So it lets me know that the neckline matters. So is it a boat? Is it a scoop? And these are in eBay items specific. So it's a really good reminder. But they're showing off the shoulder top. So maybe that lets me know that they're popular. That could be an inventory tip. Okay. But the whole point is with the tops, even if it's something that I know really well, like I know about necklines, I know about fabric content, is to Google the term and see what is coming up. And I'm seeing a lot to do with season. Okay, off the shoulder, swim, work tops, cold shoulder. It's another sleeve style, three quarter sleeve. So obviously sleeves matter a lot. Now we're getting women's 4th of July top. So if my top is red, white, and blue, if my top has stars, if it could look like a 4th of July item, which to me is stars, patriotic, red, white, and blue, that lets me know I might want to include that either in my title or my item specifics. Again, why am I looking at these keywords? I'm looking to see if there's anything I might be missing that'll help me to do better in eBay search. So this is from Celix and it's Sonar. Now these are Amazon keywords, but oftentimes if it's a good keyword for Amazon, it is a good keyword for eBay. So take a look at that. Now, of course, immediately my collectible, my vintage sellers are going. Kathy, a tool like that is useful for t-shirts, women's clothing. It's going to be good for puzzles. It's going to be good for toys. It's going to be good for home decor. But it's going to be good for more modern items, typically. You know, what about my vintage? What about um, my unique one-of-a-kind collectibles? What about that? And this is what I have found is really good for finding keywords and search terms for vintage and collectible items. So this is my second tip for free eBay search tools that work is Facebook collectors groups. And again, not a seller group. So not a group like what I run for sellers, which is eBay selling basics on Facebook and eBay stores on Facebook. What you're looking for is collectors groups, and there are tons of them on Facebook. There's mid-century modern, there's vintage glass. Typically, these groups, um, and, and <laughs> it, they're, the stuff is gorgeous. People show off their collections. But the thing is, these people are experts on vintage glass. They are experts on Barbie dolls. They are experts on, you name it, 60s decor. And when, when join the groups and then look at what the group rules are, they're not selling groups, they're collectors or ID groups. And these collectors will help you ID your items. You'll need to upload good pictures. And again, look at the group rules because they will say very clearly what they will do and what they won't do. But I know a lot, I have several really good collector seller friends that use the ID groups regularly. They'll help you ID it and they'll help you with keywords. That's why, and the keywords again, good for eBay seller search, okay? And that's what you're looking for is you wanna attract the buyers and typically the buyers for those periods, they know the keywords, they know the style, they know the brand. So having that is gonna help you. That's my second great eBay search keyword tip for you. And my third, also related to collectibles, but it can also help for clothing. It can help for puzzles. It can help for games is Pinterest and not pinning. I mean, it's great to pin. I pin Pinterest is a terrific social media platform um, for sellers, but to use Pinterest to look for search terms, keyword terms, for your items. And this is because typically on Pinterest, because again, like the collectible groups on Facebook, you're going to have great images because people are sharing things that they love, things that inspire them, things that they've bought. And so what you're going to do, for instance, I'll have a piece of blue, I'll have a blue vase that I'm looking for ID information on. So I'll Google vintage blue, vintage blue vase on Pinterest. I'll search it in Pinterest search. If you're not aware of this, Pinterest is a search engine the way Google is a search engine. 
vintage blue glass, women's 50s dress, um, whatever the board game that you have. And if you're not even sure, let's say you just have the pieces of the board game, you can do the style. For vintage toys, I have a vintage jack in the box. Look, because what you're looking for is one that looks like yours, because what you're looking for is good keywords, good search terms, so that you can rank well in eBay search. Again, why the three super eBay search tools that are free? Because oftentimes missing that one really good keyword or search term is costing you a sale because literally your buyer can't find you. If they are searching off the shoulder blouses, women's size large green, and you are not putting that your blouse is off the shoulder, it is very unlikely that that buyer is going to be able to find that blouse. Again, if the, the blue vase and it's a certain period, if you don't have that period, that person searching for that collectible item is going to have a very hard time finding you. And again, oftentimes when I'm doing an inventory, when I'm looking at people's listings, that's what they're missing. Holiday items. There's a lot of different keywords with holiday because you've got winter, you've got holiday, you've got Christmas, could be Hanukkah, could be Holy Family, could be Jesus, could be Mary, could be Joseph, could be angels. Again, you got to look at what am I selling and what are the terms that the buyer, remember it's about the buyer, would be using to find it. And then am I putting that information in my listing? which is keywords, which is eBay search, so that eBay, so that Google know what it is, so that they can then serve that item to that buyer and they can get it. I remember I was helping a seller with an item and it was a men's shirt. And it was a men's shirt that had a pocket and it was a functional pocket. That matters. I know, for instance, for shopping for my husband, Men, some men love pockets because they can put things in it. They can put a pen, they can put a wallet, they can put ID, and other people don't want wallets. The same thing for women's skirts or women's jackets. Some people, they want pockets. Other people don't want pockets. So pockets matter, and the style of pockets matter. So indexing an eBay search, why do I care? Because it helps eBay serve the item to the shopper. Also the information that eBay is then feeding to Google, it helps them to have that information to feed to Google. So if the person is searching off the shoulder blouse, men's plaid shirt with pocket, my item is going to show up. If I don't have those, I don't have that information in my listing, it won't show. And again, sometimes you can, this is what I was doing for my husband for his shirt. I'll just search by image because I can spot like if it's got a pocket or not typically. But I was a very interested shopper and I was willing to do the work. Are all shoppers going to do that? So those are my three tips for you. Again, the Amazon keyword research tool that is free. Pinterest, tremendous search engine, super helpful. And your Facebook ID groups. And then once you're up, I've got some great free tips for you. They are on my website. I love to be selling.com and I'm going to show that to you. Um, so you're going to go to my website. I love to be selling.com and what you're going to see is my website. And let me show you um, what it looks like. So you're going to want to grab the tips, dominate eBay search. And I've got even more tips for you because again, you want good, it's called SEO, which is search engine optimization. Search engine optimization includes eBay search because eBay search is a search engine. It's searching for the data to show to the buyer. And Google <laughs> is sort of like the king of search engines, again, so that my item will rank well in Google. Why? Because the buyers can find me. So grab those free tips, dominate eBay search on my website. I love to be selling.com. You're welcome, Kitty. You're welcome, Christy. And again, if you want to hear more about eBay search, if you want to hear more about keywords, just say, heck yes, and let me know. And I will do more videos like this to help you out. 
So grab Dominate eBay search, re-listen to this, try the Amazon keyword research tool. And I gave you three to use, Amazon, Facebook groups, ID groups, and Pinterest because you're gonna sell different things at different times. They're all free. They're great tools. They absolutely work. I know sellers that use them all and it's about making you more money, yay, and getting your items sold faster. So grab my free tips, dominate eBay search. You're welcome, Gail. And I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Bye-bye everybody.